Welcome back to the channel. Thanks to my sponsor Seed Studio and Seed Studio Fusion. In the last video we did the designs for the case, so now it's time to print them. You can do me and my channel a huge favor by subscribing and clicking the notification button. The black filament sticks a lot better to your wood plate. And then when all the printing is done, it's time to put in some threaded inserts. I'm using my old soldering iron for this with a special heat insert kit. I want to make a press or get a press in the future to get the best results. Today we are using the M3 threaded inserts. If you like the trays I designed for the IKEA of the Terra, they are available on Maker World. Link is in the description below. When putting in the inserts. Be careful not to put your iron too hot, it's better to take it slow, you can always press it further, you can never get it back up. And when we have all our heat inserts in, it's time to tell you a little bit about our sponsor, Seed Studio. They offer a wide variety of products which can aid you in your projects. Their Seed Studio Fusion branch also provides PCB manufacturing and PCB assembly. If you want to take it a step further, go check out the kitting service they offer on the website seedstudio.com. Now take a look at the PCBs, this is my first order since they start sponsoring me, so I'm pretty excited. Shipping and packaging is as expected. And the order process is as straightforward as it can be. I ordered stencils for everything and Let's take a look at the stencil for the dots. Really simple, but it does the job. This is the PCB for the back plate. And they wrapped it really tight. Have to tear it off. Looks really good. Now we get to the assembled board and let's take a look at how that turned out. This is the moment I realized that the parts I chose are <laughs> very delicate and really small. And they did a great job. Uh, 
And now we're going to take a look at one of the segments. Again, my realization about being <laughs> small parts or using small parts uh, just sank in and went like, wow. For so far the PCBs that are pre-assembled and now I'm going to do the dots myself. In case you were wondering, yeah, I like to organize things. Here are the PCBs for the dots. The only reason to penalize these were the size. They were too small to manufacture them as a single PCB. I am taping this to the surface just to fixate them and make it easier for me to apply the solder paste. Next time I'll be doing this on a different surface because the tape does not stick that well on this surface. And with the use of video editing magic, I apply the solder paste in with just one swipe. I mentioned this before in one of my other videos, but placing these components on an SMD PCB, it is so relaxing. After placing the last parts, I'll let you enjoy the footage of the SMD soldering. I personally, I find that most satisfying.
and after this satisfying moment, it's time to solder the male headers. If you are wondering why I'm doing this so delicately, it's because the space is only one millimeter wide. This is the most finest soldering I have ever done. And while we were soldering, this package was delivered to me. And this is the new soldering iron from Miniware, the TS21. I won this in a Miniware design contest. And when this was announced, I got really excited, so let's see what's in the box. There is some shrink wrap, so you can adjust your grip. There is the handle and the tip. It feels nice, metal, has a nice weight to it. It is smaller than the TS100, but it has a nice grip and it feels like you can do a lot of precise work with it. You can use the C210 tips on it and it comes with a chisel tip. The claim I was most excited about is that it heats up really fast and then it can melt solder in about 3 seconds. So let's test this. Wow! And while we're at it, just use this soldering iron for the rest of the project. And yes, the solder does melt really fast. It feels good, it feels precise. I love the fact that it has LEDs in the front. And at time of recording this video, it costs around 40 euros. Uh, this soldering iron definitely has a place and a price tag that it would be my first choice if I have a low budget and I want a good soldering iron. You do need a good power supply with this soldering iron and its performance also depends on the power supply. I'll link mine in the description below. It comes with uh, three different presets, 300, 350 and 400. And as you can see in the footage, it's really fast. So if you like this soldering iron, I'll put a link in the description below. It is an affiliate link, you won't pay more, but it helps my channel out. Now back to the assembly. Let's attach the antenna to the PCB. Time to break apart the PCBs. They break fairly easy, uh, but because they're small, you don't have a lot of grip, so better use pliers to separate them. And now we're going to experience that the headers are really small, so this is really delicate work. After the dots, it's time for the segments.
as you can see I panelized them so that you got the whole clock in one panel be careful when you separate them and the headers are really small and delicate and you can easily break one off This part was really time consuming and <laughs> a little bit stressful because the parts are so small. You could help my channel out by subscribing and clicking the notification button. And when we finally seeded all the segments, it was time to install WLED. Installing the software for WLED is straightforward. We have a binary file, so you go to ESP Home, click Install, choose the file, and installing it. And when you install it, it should light up. In my case, it didn't. So, let's check what the problem is. After intensive investigation, I found out I made some mistakes in the design and I have to fix that. So there will be a part 3 to fix our mistakes. Thanks to my Patreons for supporting my work. And thanks again to Seed Studio Fusion. Leave a like and subscribe or support me on Patreon. If you have any questions, you can always contact me. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in part three.